Hi, one good Wednesday evening to you, ready to uh, geek out to, to some weather as we head into midweek here. Uh, it was cold this morning, our coldest morning of the season so far in some parts of the area. I wanted to start out by showing you some personal weather stations across the valley. Now these of course are unofficial readings, um, but these are stations that uh, upload their data to the internet so we can access them here in our graphics system. And as you can see at daybreak this morning, you know, we had a couple of mid twenties out there, a 23 in Salem, this thermometer near Salem, I think it's sighted on the east side of Salem. It tends to run pretty cold compared to some of our other ones, but Newcastle had 27, Sandy Lake, 27 degrees. Newton Falls, look at that weather station up there, 22. First thing this morning, I had uh, 22 at my location as well. First thing this morning, and at the Youngstown Warren Airport, we uh, hit the forecast right on the nose today, both on the low end and the high end. It was a zero error day. That's our favorite kind of a day. 27 this morning was the low there. 53 this afternoon. So it was a, a seasonable afternoon after that cold start to the day. Once again, the record books filled with 2019 once again today. Uh, 14, the record low on today's date in 2019. We were in the middle of a pretty harsh November cold snap five years ago, which did include, of course, some snowfall uh, in addition to those unseasonably cold temperatures. Not going to see air cold enough for any sort of wintry shenanigans until nine or ten days from now. We'll talk about that later in the video. But in the meantime, we have a cold rain heading our way for our Thursday. Warm front is out here, and the rain that you see in Indianapolis and Louisville this evening well, that's coming our way as we head towards daybreak tomorrow, and uh, our Thursday will certainly get off to a soggy start. The warm front will try to usher in some warmer air, but it's not going to quite make it. We have 61 this evening in Lexington, Kentucky, 59 in Charleston, West Virginia. This front is only going to make it so far to the north before sort of fading away. So in addition to the rain pushing in, the cold air is going to stay locked in place, and, you know, we're going to have a pretty raw and chilly Thursday coming up with the raindrops and temperatures struggling to hit the mid 40s. Timing out the rain as many head off to work and school Thursday morning. If you're an early, early riser, it's probably not raining for, you know, the earliest of risers by about 738 to 830, though. I think from west to east, rain is going to overspread the area, leading to a very soggy morning and midday across the valley. We haven't seen much in the way of change on our computer model projections as far as the rainfall totals on Thursday. The lion's share of this falling before, say, 7 p.m. Thursday evening. Uh, third of an inch, half an inch will be a pretty good average. Uh, not all the rain in the world, but uh, again, this will bear a lot of similarities to uh, the, the day we had just a few days ago on Sunday. So here's a, a model depiction of the rain tomorrow morning. It may become a little more scattered in nature as we go into the afternoon, but that's splitting hairs a little bit. Just plan on just kind of a borderline washout for our Thursday. Now, as we go into Thursday night, and into Friday morning, this whole system is going to kind of fall apart um, and kind of reorganize itself off the eastern seaboard. But we'll be left with a, a deck of low clouds and a trough of low pressure still kind of trying to linger. And therefore, we've kept the chance into Friday of a few spits of drizzle, a, a passing shower as a possibility. Um, I don't think Friday is nearly as rainy as Thursday. But I can't rule out a few raindrops trying to uh, make for kind of a gloomy go of it at times on our Friday. We'll stay pretty cloudy into Friday night and first thing Saturday morning. The clouds should thin, though, by Saturday afternoon, leading to uneventful weather for the upcoming weekend. And it'll stay pretty uneventful for the next uh, several days once we get through a rainy Thursday. The longer range trends, though, uh, a distinct pattern change looks to take place during the last third of November. This model depiction stops eight days from now, next Thursday. A cutoff low pressure system strengthening over the upper Midwest, ridge popping out in the west, and so we've got an amplified jet stream, and uh, this is going to establish itself for a little while, this ridge in the west, trough in the east kind of a pattern, and probably takes us into the week of Thanksgiving, and I think the air will be cold enough for some snowflakes. Of course, it's too early to get into any details on that, but I, I think the lake effect can be... Uh, a factor for some areas downwind of the Great Lakes next weekend. So again, we're talking about 10 days from now. But uh, looking at some of the latest uh, medium range modeling, it's definitely trended colder in the longer range. Here's today's GFS Ensemble long range forecast output for Thanksgiving morning. So two weeks from tomorrow, temperature anomalies. You can see a lot of blues still lingering across the eastern U.S. And so this general idea of colder air making inroads, uh, not only here locally, but in a lot of the eastern U.S., I think it holds some water. I think it's it's well supported by a lot of our modeling. Uh, will it continue into a lot of December? I kind of doubt that. 
Um, if you watched my winter forecast video a couple of days ago, we talked about you know December maybe being the month that has the best chance of seeing some periods of sustained cold, but the month probably comes out in the wash as warmer than the average. I still think that idea is a pretty good one, even though, you know, again, I think that the door will be open on a couple of occasions to some cold air outbreaks during the month of December and the start of meteorological winter. Have a great rest of your Wednesday night, everyone. Thanks for checking out Weather for Weather Geeks this evening. On Thursday evening's video, we'll talk more about the weekend and into next week and, and show you some more model depictions of how things will evolve with this uh, pattern change settling in in about nine or ten days.